All right, let's suppose that we want to calculate our check bits for a single error correction, dual error detection code word. So we're gonna assume that we're given an eight bit data word. So we'll just say, uh, pick some bits here, one zero, one one, zero zero. All right, so the first thing I like to do is give myself kind of a, uh, a blank slate with numbers so I can start placing these bits in the proper spot. I'm just gonna start counting with 12 here. So, because our total word is gonna be 12 bits long. Actually, it's gonna be 13 bits, excuse me. We're gonna have 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and since we're doing sec dead, we're gonna have five bits. That means that this is gonna be a zero right here. And then I like to underline my check bits. So this guy, this is a special bit, so I'm gonna underline him twice. Then our single error correction bit is gonna be, remember it's gonna be our powers of two, so one, two, four, and eight. And now, I can go through and start putting my bits here in their appropriate spots. So these are, remember these are our data bits. So I'm just gonna go through and write one, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. All right, so now we have to go about calculating bit eight, four, two, one, and zero. And remember, bit zero is a parity bit for all of these bits here, all bits 12 through one. And so we have to wait until we have values at two, one, four, and eight before we can calculate bit zero. So let's just start by uh, looking at bit one here. And we're gonna say that we wanna do even parity. So something I like to do to figure out which bits are covered by um, this, this check bit, this check bit, this check bit, and this check bit, or to make a simple table here. So let's start off by just putting our numbers for all of our possible bits. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12, all right? And now let's just do our binary codes for each one of these values. So this is gonna be zero, 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 all the way down. Uh, oops, sorry, sorry, let's do here. This is gonna be a one, zero, one, zero. Keep going straight down. No surprise here, we're just counting in binary. We'll just count in binary here. All right, and then what I like to do is just say, this is covered, or this is if we're checking for check one. So C1, B2, C4, C8. And then the last thing I like to do is box out my check bits, just, just something I like to have in here. So one, a box around number one here, two, four, and last but not least, bit number eight. All right, now, 
how we use this is let's say we want to calculate check bit one. So we'll put C and we're going to assume that we're doing even parity. So put that there to remind us. So if we have C1, so how we're going to calculate this is we're going to take the X or of some bits here. And those bits are going to be wherever we have a one in the C1 position. So here we've got three, five, seven, nine, and 11. Let's put those bits in. So we've got three is a one. So we're going to put a one there. And then five is a one. Seven is a zero. Nine is a one. And 11 is a zero. So we're, we're looking for even parity here. So since we're doing even parities, we need to count, or count up how many ones we have. So we have one, two, three ones. And so this is an odd number. So we need a one to make this number even, right? The number of ones even because of this. Let me just kind of go through the same process to calculate two, four, and eight. Two. Let's see. So we need to look at bit. We're looking at C2. So we're going 3, 6, 7, 10, and 11. So 3, well, or X, or we're doing 3, 6, 7, uh, 0, 0, and then 10 and 11, 1, 0. So there's two ones there, so there's an even number of ones, so that means that our check bit needs to be a zero there. All right, now we have the four. XOR. And now we're looking at bits five, six, seven, and 12. So we have five is a one, six is a zero, seven is a zero, 12 is a one. So we have an even number of ones there. So that means that our parity bit here is just gonna be a zero. And last but not least, we have C8. Let's elusive or some more bits together. And this is just gonna be bits nine, 10, 11, and 12. So nine is a one, 10 is a one, 11 is a 0, 12 is a 1. So what's that mean? Well, we have three ones, odd number. We need to add another 1 to this to make it an even parity. And now we know what our check 1, check 2, check 4, and check 8 bits are. Let's go ahead and fill those in. So check 1 is a 1. Check 4 is a 0. Or sorry, check two. I uh messed up a little bit here. Let me undo here. Sorry, so check one is a one. Check two is a zero. Check four is a zero. And check eight is a one. Now the last thing we have is our dual error detection bit, which is this guy here. And this is just another even parity bit. But this operates on all of these bits here. What we need to do is we need to just count up how many ones we have. One, two, three, five, six, seven. We only have seven ones, which is an odd number. So that means we need to set the number of ones even by adding a one here. Now we have eight ones, which is an even number. And this, this right, here, this is our fully completed uh, sec dead code word. So with this, we can correct a single bit flipping, and we can detect if at least two bits have flipped. So this is once again, this is sec dead.
Oh, there's a sec dead code word. 